Later on, Thomas told Percy to get every engine on the railway to gather at Timmis Shad's for a meeting that afternoon. After Percy had spread the word, all the engines one by one had arrived at Timmer's sheds. Hey Percy, what's up? Thomas told us to come here for a meeting! A meeting? Why, what's happening? Thomas? Thomas hasn't shown up yet. I hope he isn't sick. Thomas? Where is Thomas? He coupled fish trucks to the back of the express today. Just wait until I catch up with him. Can't your grievance wait till after the meeting? It could be very important. Just then, Thomas finally showed up to start the meeting. Okay everyone, I have called this meeting to present some bad news and some good news. Oh dear, what happened Thomas? Our railway is in trouble. We might be shutting down. <gasps> That's terrible! What's happened? The fat controller doesn't have the money to pay his bills, and if he doesn't, the railway will be put out of business. But luckily, I've got an idea. This ought to be a good one. Back on my branch line this morning, I heard from Bertie that he found a piece of a gold nugget from an artifact. There must be more artifacts around the world. So my plan is to travel around the world for 80 days to find as many artifacts as I can, in hopes to raise enough money to save the railway. I hope you'll be okay with me going for that long a time. And you're just going to take off like that? Do you even know where to start? Planning is the great western way. Well, yes. That's all I've planned so far. I hear a race car is attending rallies around the world. I could follow him. His first race should be in Africa. So I should start there. At least let me come with you, Thomas. You'll need all the help you can get. That is true, Percy. But who will deliver the mail at night? I'll get Rosie to deliver the mail. And I should come with you. You'll need someone with common sense to keep you safe. I actually thought maybe you can take care of my branch line while I'm away, but sure. Don't worry, Thomas. We've got your back. Indeed we do. We shall do it for the railway. I'll take care of your branch line, Thomas. Thank you, Toby. Thomas had finally constructed his plan with his friends and traveled back to Nafford Station. Hi again, sir. My friends and I have finally made a plan for my idea. I'm glad about that, Thomas. Wait, what was your idea again? I will start my adventure in Africa. I'll return in 80 days with rare artifacts to raise the money needed. To save Sodor, sir. I'm glad you have a plan, Thomas, but I can't let you go. Who will take care of your duties or your branch line? Toby will take care of that. But all alone, Thomas? He won't be alone on this trip. I'm coming with him. So am I. I got Toby to take care of my branch line while I'm away. Rosie will deliver the mail for Percy, and Duck will come along to keep me safe. And if it's too much for Toby, you can always find an engine from the main line to help out. That's great! Is there anything I need to do to be really useful before I leave? Well, I have a goods train I want you to take to Alsborough for me. If you get that train delivered, I'll give you full permission to do this mission. I believe in you, Thomas. Thank you very much, sir. Thomas felt excited, yet terrified for the adventure ahead. He was glad to have the support of the Fat Controller and his friends. He delivered the goods train and said his goodbyes to Ryan, Daisy, and the three little engines from Arlesdale. And with that, he chuffed to Brandom Docks. All the engines were together at Brandom Docks preparing to say goodbye to his friends one last time, because he might not return. This should be an exciting adventure, right Percy? I know, but I'm just nervous. I've never done this before! Don't be, Percy. We might have never done this before, but we'll be the most useful engines of the year the moment we get that loot. Thomas, I can't stay mad at you. I hope your mission's a success. Good luck. All the engines blew their whistles and horns and wished their friends good luck as the boat started to move.